Ordinarily, I might stop, but we're a little behind, so I'll use the 10 minutes that remain to us. And I will introduce vectors. Um, and from one point of view, a vector is just a matrix. A vector is a matrix with either only one row or only one column. In theory, we can think of a vector that way. Here is a vector with only one column. Here is a vector with only one row. I keep using the word in theory because in practice, the stuff that we do with vectors is almost totally different from the stuff that we do with other matrices. Um, a vector cannot be an augmented matrix. Tricks, for example, we never perform um, Gauss-Jordan elimination on a vector, um, as another example. So it really makes more sense to think of vectors as being their own separate thing than it does to think of them as being matrices. Um, so these vectors have very much the names you might expect. If a vector looks like a column, it's called a column vector. If a vector looks like a row, it's called a row vector. By convention, mathematics is done almost entirely using column vectors. Um, there are examples, there are exceptions to this. Um, in the probability, you sometimes see row vectors in, you know, mathematical biology. You sometimes see row vectors. But in this course, we're going to use column vectors always. So because of that, I'll just use the word vector. And you, the student, will understand that I mean a column vector. We can do things with vectors. We can add two vectors and get a new vector back again. But for addition to be defined, the vectors have to be of the same size. So let's 
So, for example, this addition, we can do both these vectors have three entries. And addition is done what we call component-wise. We add the first entries. We add the second entries. We add the third entries. If the vector was bigger, we would add the fourth entries, and so on until we're done. So there's vector addition. Again, this requires the vectors to be the same size. So something like this is not defined. And I use the word addition. We can subtract vectors in the same way, though. We cannot multiply or divide vectors, at least not in sort of the usual sense. But we can add them and we can subtract them. And we can do one more thing. I just said that we can't multiply two vectors. And that is a true statement. But we can multiply vectors by number. So we could take the vector 1, 6, negative 2, 4, and we could multiply it by three, for example. And that multiplication is done by taking every entry in the vector and multiplying it by the real number. And this is called scalar multiplication. And on Thursday, we'll keep learning about scalar multiplication. We'll finish this section up. It is not a long section. And then we'll move on to 1.4.